You know, God has a way of speaking to us. And this is very, very important. Because if you do not understand how God communicates with his people, you will be deceived. But one thing that makes this even more serious for us to understand in this time that we live in is that the enemy tries to counterfeit every means God communicates with his people. When you read 2 Chronicles, and that's our key text for today, 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20, the Bible says something very, very important. Listen to what it says. So they rose early in the morning and went into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Israel, and, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe his prophet, and you shall prosper. God said through Jehoshaphat, he said, believe in God, and you will be established. But he did not end there. He says, believe in the prophet of God and you will prosper. Why did he say that? Because the prophet of God are like the mouthpiece of God. That is why the Bible says the Lord God will not do anything unless he has revealed it to his servant through his prophet. In other words, through his mouthpiece. So when Jehoshaphat said this, he was basically letting us understand that when you believe in the prophet of God, you are believing in the very word of God. And because of that, you will prosper. But unfortunately, the enemy, knowing that the prophets are the mouthpiece of God, has sent out false prophets, false mouthpiece. People who are delivering messages to God's people, but the message is not coming from God. Beware of that. In Matthew 24, Jesus Christ said, Beware of false prophets. Sometimes they come like sheep. They come so innocently, but inwardly, according to the Bible, they are ravenous wolves. Beware of smooth talkers who ask you to do things that are against the word of God. They ask you to buy wristbands. They ask you to go for anointing oil. They ask you to go and buy water. They ask you to do this and that. Beware of those ones because they are false mouthpiece of God. When you believe in the true prophet of God, those who are sent by God, those who live their lives according to the word of God, those who prophesies whose words is according to the, the, the word of God, those who bear fruit of righteousness, they are the ones that when you believe in, God will prosper you. May God enlighten you with the spirit. May he grant you the spirit of discernment to know the truth from the false prophet so that your life would prosper and it would work. So that you would prosper as you believe the true prophet and you would have your name in the Lamb's book of life. Have a blessed day. Shalom.